It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Been down to Asda, picked up some extra special Iberico cheese and red pepper pork sausages. They sound really good. I was down buying the Carolina Reaper sausage from Asda and I seen these at the same time. A new flavour of sausage from Asda and I thought I'm going to give these a go. I'm going to give these a go. So without further, further ado, I'm going to put these in the grill. Get them in a bread roll. Let's see what they like. Okay, these Iberico cheese and red pepper sausages are ready. Let's get them out of the grill, or let's get it out of the grill. There's a look at it. Right, here we go, we're ready. Put it in a, a bread roll, naturally, Natu just an Asda bread roll. I was in Asda's, I was buying sausages. Stick it in a bread roll. It sounds nice. Um, what I noticed, ah, and here it is to prove it. I'm just gonna mention that. The cheese, some of it, it's almost like you're trying to wait, find a way of saving it. Some of it drips out of the grill or onto the grill pan and you're like ah oh, what a waste and you can see it he's still he's still dripping away there the the cheese let's get into it mm. oh it's uh, nice You get the red pepper, you get the pork. Ooh, and you're left with this, it's like a creamy cottage cheese-like flavor. Mmm. Really tasty. Really, really tasty sausage. Mm. Do you know? Over the last ten years, sausage has come such a long way. Such a long way. It used to be when I was growing up to the butchers. The sausage was the rough cuts of meat that weren't used. They were too good to throw away, so they made a sausage out of it. Never did we have like red pepper versions and you get all sorts of steak sausages now and Iberico cheese and pepper sausages and Carolina Reaper and everything else. Mm. The only thing I'm missing here is um is another one. Really tasty. And it shows a shift in culture, doesn't it? It definitely show, shows a, a shift in culture. A lots and lots of people spend lots and lots of time, summer holidays, traveling into places like Spain and Italy and France and Belgium and Germany and enjoying all of these different kind of luxuries in the world. So, it just rubs off. A Frankfurter sausage, a, a, a German white sausage, Spanish chorizo. There's so much that have kind of culturally, culturally we've taken on over, over the last couple of decades that we're now producing a fantastic sausage like this. Mmm, really tasty, and it, it proves that we've come a long way from just being, just having boring pork sausages. I love a boring pork sausage, don't get me wrong, I like a Richmond sausage, but I much prefer something like this, 
something with a better quality. Mmm. Gonna get the package out the freezer. I'll freeze the rest of these. I'll have them in the summer. Fire up the barbecue. Get these out to defrost. Stick them on the barbecue. In this household, the kids and the wife, they won't eat anything like this. They will. They refuse. They will. They will just will not. If I made like sausage and mash with the rest of these, they wouldn't eat it. They wouldn't eat it, which is a great shame. It's a. It really is a crying shame that they wouldn't eat this sort of thing. So, um, with creamy Iberico cheese and a pinch of paprika, seventy-two percent British prime pork, and that's the point. Prime pork. It's not like just. <laughs> shoveling it off the floor anymore. They're using good bits of pork to make decent pork sausages. Right, ingredients are pork, water, Iberico cheese, 5%, cow's milk, goat's milk, ewe's milk, red pepper, 5%, tomato puree, rice flour, chickpea, chickpea flour, pay, parsley, paprika, salt, garlic, spices, stabilizers, and then all of the weird stuff that I don't really like to talk about too much because it's just a bit weird. Um, I wish, oh you can grill them 15 minutes, fry them 15 minutes, oven cook them 25 to 30 minutes. I just wish that my family, my, my kids and wife were a little bit more cultured and they would enjoy something like that, this a little bit more. I think Mel might, Mel might enjoy these but not really, I don't think. I think she's more of a plain sausage kind of girl. <laughs> what am I saying? Right. As does extra special pork, red pepper, and Iber Iberico cheese sausages. They're fantastic. So succulent, so juicy. Goes great in a bread roll. You, you could definitely make a, a sausage and mash. It'd be, the, it'd be like a continental version of sausage and mash. But it'd be great with some gravy on. It would really go really well. I like them. I like them a lot and I'm going to rate them. Um, I like those sausages. They're, they're fantastic. I can't work at the Carolina Reaper ones in the oven now to, to, to get on with. Um, they're gonna be, that's going to be the next review or it's going to be before this one probably. But yeah, I like them sausages enough to give them, they're really tasty. I love the cheese. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.